So good morning, all of you. I'd like to welcome you all in the five-day AICT training and learning program, AICT Atal, faculty development program on the blockchain and its application, which is running from September 21 to 25. Uh-huh. Okay. So this particular faculty development program is running for the five days and uh, uh, currently we are in the day three and in day one and day two already three of the session uh, per day uh, already have done. In the first day we have done three of the session, one of the session for introduction of blockchain and history. Second one session is this cryptocurrency and third one is for hands-on activity on the Bitcoin. And on the second day, we have the session on the blockchain and the SHA hash function. Second one section was on the public and private distributed ledger. And third one session is related to the designing blockchain with the record tracking and security. So these all session have done. Now we are in the third day three. Uh, the day three will have the session on the integrated blockchain internet of thing and artificial intelligence and afterward it will be there is a future of blockchain hyperledger and hypercraft and thereafter uh, there will be a hands-on session uh, and uh, there is a, a session on the application on blockchain and uses use case in the public and finance healthcare and governance so uh, i like to welcome you all in the day three of the aict at uh, faculty development program and uh, I'd like to welcome our uh, expert uh, speaker uh, for today. Uh, the today first session expert speaker, ma'am, uh, uh, Dr. Sharin Jaffer, uh, ma'am. I'd like to welcome Sharin Jaffer, ma'am. I'd like to uh, uh, introduce the ma'am. Dr. Sharin Jaffer, ma'am, is an associate professor in the computer science and engineering in the School of Engineering, uh, Science and Technology, Jamia Hamdard. And uh, MAM is also specialized in the wireless network, soft computing, and network security. MAM has a great profile in the Scoopus, Mendeley, Google Scholar, ResearchGate, and Phonon. And MAM have more than half century paper published in the Scoopus, SCA, and peer review journal, double century papers reviewed in the editorial board. And MAM is also editor in the chief in the many reputed and uh, Scoopus index journal. Ma'am has published uh, pa patents also and uh, uh, in the DSP also. And ma'am ha has uh, the strong believer in the power of positive thinking in the workplace. Uh, ma'am is also uh, <clears throat> uh, conducted several international conferences. And uh, ma'am has uh, participated as the keynote speakers also. Ma'am has uh, conducted several faculty development program in the uh, renewing institution for the AICT, ATAL, AICT, STTP, and uh, so many other faculty development program. So I like to welcome uh, ma'am. Uh, thank you for sparing uh, the time from your precious time and uh, here to come to share the knowledge with us. Uh, I hope the participant will get uh, uh, the knowledge from this uh, uh, session and uh, they will uh, get the uh, it will, this session will be fruitful for us. Okay. Welcome all and welcome, uh, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Thank you, Rakhi, ma'am. Um, uh, good morning to all the participants. And um, uh, uh, what we can do, we can start where we left yesterday. And um, uh, the yesterday we were discussing a very, very important point. And before going towards that point, I would like to start with a quote. You must be the change you wish to see in the world. A very, very famous quote by our Gandhiji. And um, uh, the change uh, that you wish to see, you should be that change. Not only we say that uh, we, wa we want the government to do this, we want organizations to do this, but uh, never ever we think that we could be that change that people could see and incorporate. So uh, uh, starting with this lovely thought, as uh, we were left yesterday on a concept where I was telling you that uh, um, uh, Bitcoin is not the only thing a blockchain is uh, based upon. Um, normally, there was a myth that everything is Bitcoin. But yesterday we were discussing from 2008, government uh, is leveraging a lot amount of uh, um, 
uh, money in uh, in various types of organizations in various types of businesses in order to leverage the uh, importance and basic specification of uh, um, uh, blockchain uh, and the the most important example that we were discussing yesterday also is supply chain management uh, and in that supply chain ma management uh, blockchain will play a very very important role but alone blockchain will not be very very powerful so what to be included in the, that is the basic uh, discussion in uh, in in this of my presentation uh, blockchain uh, artificial intelligence and iot a perfect fit so when we are talking about supply chain management uh, these three technologies will be a boom for a lot of businesses alone they will not do anything together combined in a way they will serve as a purpose to uh, betterment in terms of blockchain for privacy and security iot for sensitizations in terms of uh, connecting um, uh, autonomous cars or uh, talking about any type of iot um, sensors or, uh, so that that will be mainly of data connection and then comes artificial intelligence whose lot of work uh, is related in analyzing in uh, predictive analysis all three will be a perfect fit Uh, so uh, this will be starting uh, 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 some few of my slides in this presentation then we will be going towards some security issues um, we always say that blockchain is very dependable but there are attacks that has happened on blockchain also on the bitcoin also so we will be discussing on those attacks those vulnerabilities because every technology has some of the vulnerabilities in it so we will be discussing those points and then we will be discussing um, what should be done uh, from a developer point of view or from a tester point of view or from a research oriented point of view so our blockchain does not fall into that trap of vulnerabilities so uh, that this will be the second uh, third thing that we'll be discussing in this particular ppt and the fourth most important thing that we'll be discussing is how india has utilized blockchain till now what is the growth of our country in utilization of blockchain so these three four topics will be the major consideration of my presentation and um, uh, hopefully these things will play a very very important role in any person who wants to go on <clears throat> sorry utilization of blockchain and uh, remember that um, uh, many of the people say i am working on iit many people say i am working on ai but uh, we haven't uh, 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 sort of thought or haven't learned many of the people who say that we are, I'm working on all these three technologies. So talking about blockchain, yesterday I was talking about that whether we are using the Solidity or the MetaMask or or we have using the Ganache. So these platforms are uh, available for your uh, blockchain. Then going with the machine learning and artificial intelligence. Nowadays we have that TensorFlow, that um, uh, uh, Keras uh, software. Even Tableau is doing a lot of work in terms of uh, combining machine learning and visualization. Uh, and then going with uh, your um, um, concept of iot which has lot of work you uh, think utilize it done with the help of arduino you have eclipse you have node red so these of the tools will be utilized uh, um, in order to make your project or business successful utilizing the advantages of all these technologies so i'll just share my screen now and uh, we'll start these discussions I'll just uh, uh Rakhi ma'am uh, is my uh, PPT all visible Yes ma'am visible Okay Uh, ma'am, I have stopped the video uh, uh, because maybe there there can be a bandwidth sharing both video and yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And in this team, I have another account on GitHub for the demonstration. In the production environment, a user must be exist. We have seen how to create organization and project in GitHub. We require to provide access. Oh, uh, ma'am, there's a. Uh, I think somebody's mic is on. on project. Okay, uh, I'm checking. I'm checking. Sorry, ma'am. Yes, I'm checking. Then you can yes. provide the access okay. to individual users, or you can. One minute. 
Okay, so very good morning to everybody. Uh, I am Dr. Shireen Zafar, and we are into a new uh, paradigm where we'll be seeing how blockchain, AI, IoT can be a perfect fit. And uh, I, again, I am very, very thankful to Purnima Institute of Engineering and Technology. Everybody who is uh, uh, who is there in this organization uh, uh, for making this particular event a uh, successful uh, FDP. So I'll start with again a uh, beautiful video that will show the gist of how uh, AI, IoT, and uh, oh, blockchain are a perfect fit. Disruptive technologies such as IoT, AI, and blockchain individually. The real value to the supply chain comes from combining these technologies together. Organizations conducting paper based business transactions will struggle to leverage disruptive technologies without extensive manual rework. To obtain maximum business value, companies need to ensure they have an end to end digital foundation or backbone in place. The digital foundation allows companies to seamlessly exchange electronic business transactions with 100% of the trading partners in a digital business ecosystem. Once the digital foundation is in place, then at that point, companies can leverage the combination of IoT, AI, and blockchain to enable an autonomous supply chain. Leveraging an Internet of Things platform allows companies to create a digital twin of a piece of equipment or serviceable asset. For example, IoT sensor information can be leveraged to not only identify shipment location while moving through the supply chain, but also monitor shipment condition. We can also remotely monitor the condition of the truck systems. Artificial intelligence derives insights from information moving across the digital business ecosystem. Whether analyzing transaction information to determine the best performing trading partner or analyzing IoT sensor information to determine if a piece of equipment is about to break down, AI helps companies optimize and drive efficiencies across an end-to-end -end supply chain. Blockchain, a relatively new disruptive technology, in its simplest form is a trustless, immutable distributed ledger that can archive information from across the extended enterprise. From a supply chain point of view, the most popular use case relates to track and trace, knowing the provenance of goods or raw materials. An autonomous supply chain will help companies establish a highly intelligent, connected, self-aware, and trusted environment. An environment that leverages deeper insights into supply chain performance to refine business processes, improve traceability of goods, and record and secure an archive of all digital interactions between the company and its trading partner community. For more information on how open text can help enable an autonomous supply chain, please visit www. Okay, so just a, just a uh, little bit discussion with the participants. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm going back to the participants here. Uh, I think everybody has seen this video. Uh, there was a very, very beautiful picture which explained everything in this video. Uh, there was a truck going and I think if every participant has saw that video and uh, a digital identity of that truck was created. Such a beautiful uh, uh, synchronization, such a beautiful picturization of the te technology. Uh, any any participant here who want to uh, have has seen that video and want to uh, discuss or want to talk about this particular uh, video? Anybody from the participants? Uh, hi, ma'am. Good morning. This is Nitin Kamle. Yes, Nitin, sir. So happy okay. to see uh, hear you again today. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. So uh, uh, the blockchain or IoT or uh, uh, all this technology that we are talking about today can be uh, very useful uh, in many uh, industry. If you take the example of this truck or logistic or supply chain management, it is very uh, effective in terms of identifying uh, the root because we have seen a lot of uh, uh, issues when uh, goods or shipments you know uh, uh, transfer from one place to another. Uh, there are there are a lot uh, lot of cases of theft and pilferages in between, and you know sometimes the the the, the quality uh, is compromised when the uh, it uh, uh, reached on the destination. So if all these technology, be it the IoT or blockchain or or uh, this AI, if all these things are, you know, uh, used collectively, uh, the, the result is uh, amazing and wonderful. Exactly, Nitin sir. And that's why I was talking about, I think, Nitin sir, have you seen that video where this truck was, the digital identity of the truck was taken, how beautifully it was shown and how um, uh, sensibly it could relate to that. Um, uh, it could be so easy uh, that if we can each and every time track where that truck is going, so uh, that picking up of that digital image of that 
truck with the help of iot maintaining privacy and uh, uh, tracking and tracing with the help of blockchain and analyzing those transaction with the help of ai can be a business uh, 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 like it it could be a business transformation all around and as you talked about that collectively using these technologies would be very very helpful because talking about um, uh, 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 analyzing the location for example we were talking about the uh, truck the location uh, analysis with the help of so sensors iot centers then ai for um, uh, even those tracking of the iot information even of analysis of those transaction with the help of ai then blockchain for tracking and tracing uh, for highly interconnected self aware environment being created so how beautifully these three technologies can be a boom to the modern day industry and as you told i think this work has already been started and lot of uh, um, uh, uh, lot of like uh, mini points are already created if we if we see little bit uh, in terms of swiggy Uh, for example or zomato each and every time where that person is moving you can easily check that and at what what point is there obviously uh, a little more work to be done where uh, each and every tracking uh, specified in terms of uh, because for supply chain management especially Uh, what what what's the product quality and is the product quality is not compromised? These all things are need to be the boom of the modern day technology. Yes, Nitin sir, actually you said very beautifully all the points. Anybody else who want to relate these three technologies or uh, has seen something and any real life example? Anybody from the participants? Anybody else want to convey something? okay uh, so let's let's move forward um uh, let's check this but I'll, i'll just again share my screen okay so as um, i think it's uh, started from the beginning Malmini. This, uh, this is a such a beautiful diagram, uh, which specifies the benefits of using blockchain for IoT. Number one is the trust that we were talking all about between the parties and the devices. Reduction of the risk is very very important. Uh, ma'am, sorry. Yes, ma sir. I'm sorry, I I'm interrupting you. Uh, can yes, you sir. can you can you uh, zoom uh, this picture because it's it's not uh, readable. Uh, I mean, it's it's very very difficult to. Or to read it out, the content uh, that you have mentioned. I have to zoom it uh, just a sec because I have done a full screen here. Uh, I'll just check that because it is already a full screen. I'll just check that. Sir. Is the visibility better, or sir? Now, uh, can can you please uh, move into the uh, presentation mode? Ha, I'll do that. Yeah, can better. You check it better. Yes, yes ma'am. It's better. Yes. Thank so you. The Three most important things that we are talking about blockchain for IoT is number one is trust very very important number two is reduction of cords why because you are reducing you are removing that middleman and intermediaries so obviously a but but, but uh, we are not saying that everything would be done now but the work will be started and especially most important thing is the acceleration of the transactions for example um, uh, 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 because as as i told you that uh, the uh, there would be not one person who would be involved in transaction not one party involved in the transaction there will be number of uh, uh, technologies number of parties uh, required for those transaction when we are talking about supply chain ma management so accelerating that transaction plays a very very important role when you are saying that you are using blockchain for iot then uh, uh, talking about blockchain iot and ai so uh, these business models are creating what uh, number one uh, obviously they are creating uh, uh, concepts of um, autonomous cars or machines or iot devices 
and then then uh, uh, you are auto ministry making decisions and um, independent decisions are based uh, on the analysis that are being done with the help of artificial intelligence then uh, that trust is maintained so this perfect fit comes into the picture where three things that are most importantly required for a business that is trust uh, number 2 is uh, leveraging your um, um, uh, digital identity in terms of uh, iot specification and then number 3 is that most important is providing analytics of the business that you have done so this is will be a digital transformation business model for the various types of organizations and uh, as i told you this with the diagram also that number 1 uh, what is blockchain doing blockchain is increasing that trust that transparency security privacy uh, depending upon what type of model you are using and going with iot iot is providing those automation it's very very important that automation of industries is should be done in order to uh, leverage the importance of uh, uh, digital association and third that is what ai or artificial intelligence is doing is optimizing chain of those processes by detecting patterns by doing source predictive analysis because unless and until a business knows what is good for it what can be futuristic what can be helpful in order to uh, increase its profitable margin then only that business will be successful so visualization and artificial intelligence all are playing a very very important role in making this a perfect fit then talking about the business value of that data uh, the uh, the there is a ecosystem which is showing that blockchain is doing what building trust these insights are provided with the help of artificial intelligence and that connection is established with the help of iot so when you are talking about this ecosystem this ecosystem is very very important for business organizations because um, these three things are actually providing what the business wants similarly talking about these things to be adopted in pharmaceutical industry industry supply chain management i already told you so a step by step each and everywhere when you are talking about um, uh, 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 insights coming of of that business for example a pharmaceutical organizations um, how well the particular pharmacist is uh, 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 selling the genuine uh, medicines uh, the data that is being traveled uh, is analyzed so that analysis is done by ai then those healthcare providers and retailers access relating the transactions between them that is done with the help of uh, a blockchain then as i told you that truck which is carrying the digital identity of that truck can be um, uh, can be leveraged or can be seen all through its uh, successful transaction and how well it is being specified then this will create actually a trust between the customers between the healthcare providers the patients the retailers and so on so whole uh, this business environment will be uh, very very uh, relatively accessed with the help of these three technologies then um, uh, importance is uh, uh, that you should need to specify that these things need to be used by Uh, uh, in a, like as as specified jointly and uh, uh, by designing blockchain iot and ai uh, their full potential need to be exploited uh, and where your business require them the most there it should be analyzed because ai as as called upon everywhere ai need not to be applied where there that analysis is very much required where visualization is very important where predictive analysis is very important there ai should be applied and uh, uh, for talking about data management or your identity management or your automation all these three things are done by three three very very important uh, 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 we can call them as uh, technologies. We can call them as uh, um, uh, new uh, methodologies, which will uh, make the business industry uh, 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 boom, and it will be like a change in the business environment. Uh, uh, again, uh, 
there's there's mic open okay again when we are talking about the digitization of industry digitization of industry can only not only be done with the help of iot your digitization is required uh, 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 with all the three things optimization through ai uh, rules or that smart contract or your um, um, trust management through blockchain and that this uh, uh, connectivity of the data or connectivity of the um, various types of tools or various types of devices is required with the help of iot so talking about the iot the data management and standardization is playing a very very important role so what is blockchain supporting here blockchain is uh, uh, providing that standardization of data and um, uh, because it is using the uh, yes is anybody speaking up so that standardization of data is provided with the help of blockchain and the uh, uh, most important thing is that um, uh, your data management needs to be optimized uh, because once your data is standardized and once your iot devices because um, iot devices talking about sensors machines cards they are carrying a lot of data unless and until that data is analyzed or standardized it is of no purpose as we say that we have cctv cameras in our house or unless and until if you are exploring something that data normally goes and gets deleted after some uh, amount of time so the, the thing is that if you want to make a model if you want to do a predictive analysis if you want to do analytics then that data needs to be captured and that data needs to be optimized and optimization can be done only after that analysis of the data there you can build some insights and then standardization uh, uh, can be done with the help of blockchain similarly talking about privacy and security uh, that uh, uh, that we discussed a lot yesterday that um, uh, the blockchain uh, whether whether it's kind of a cryptocurrencies whether it's kind of a transaction uh, both the structure the public the private the consortium and the hybrid uh, they are uh, paving ways for various types of organization to utilize them in order to maintain both the privacy and the security of their data and also when talking about um, data privacy and security uh, ai can be very much helpful by detecting the vulnerabilities that may happen uh, they can um, uh, they can um, pinpoint at some times of uh, loopholes uh, some end points where their uh, vulnerabilities can occur so the, it's important thing that um, uh, the new algorithms that ai is learning because ai keeps on learning ai keeps on updating itself and learn and uh, train itself from the various types of uh, data that it has so that training and learning of ai will help in producing insights and that will very much be helpful in detecting or um, uh, 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 overcoming various types of attacks or various types of security vulnerabilities that may occur in the iot based systems similarly the second most important thing is scalability so for iot devices uh, this um, uh, talking about your um, um, uh, blockchain so blockchain and ai both can be very very much helpful because uh, talking about um, um, uh, uh, those consensus based system which will are uh, provided with the help of uh, blockchain and uh, 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 talking about those proof of work that is provided with the help of blockchain and also those insights that are provided with the help of uh, ai they all can be clubbed together so your um, uh, scalability and um, uh, using your um, uh, same functionality in different devices connecting different devices together will be much easier as compared when we are not using these technologies and connecting the iot devices now talking about authentication authentication is also one of the most important thing that is digital identity that we talked about a lot in the previous section also that um, uh, 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 what is blockchain used for or blockchain is used for those maintaining those trust and even for example uh, you are utilizing your car sharing option or you are utilizing uh, uh, transaction or transport between those autonomous cars and any type of machines so uh, what the digital identity and authentication will help to avoid any type of breaches any type of trust issues any type of vulnerabilities so uh, the, it will help in getting you low cost transaction higher speed of transactions and uh, uh, the most important thing is that trust will be maintained by the user and the devices that they are connected to 
also talking about uh, 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 authentication because as specified that uh, around 20 billion devices will be connected to internet in 2025 so whether we are talking about the payment network or whether we are talking about the digital identities all these needs to be made secured and they need to have data protection laws because i'll i'll tell you in the further ppts uh, 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 for his, for further slides that i'll be showing is that if you don't have the correct uh, 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 blockchain based rules or laws then blockchain can be a, a a big blunder also so if you are not testing your smart contract in an effective manner if you are not not uh, um, uh, developing uh, good uh, uh, um, um, rules based on the blockchain application, then blockchain could be a big blunder. So that's why it's very, very important. Uh, to specify uh, that uh, where blockchain and how blockchain is to be applied in any type of a business uh, model. Then uh, the smart contracts also we have specified that uh, these smart contracts will play a very, very important role in various types of industries, in various types of business organization, and especially uh, when you're talking about those crypto assets, because um, uh, those cryptocurrencies uh, 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 are not owned um, uh, by a central bank they can be owned by private organization also so people may be connected to private cryptocurrencies or central bank cryptocurrencies so those automizations or smart contracts need to be developed in order to um, uh, specify a, a, a very um, effective and very trustworthy transaction between any type of user who are utilizing or who are part of that blockchain Similarly, um, as I told you, the blockchain euro, uh, this is a kind, again, again a kind of a, um, uh, uh, a structure where private organization is using that um, uh, uh, um, uh, euro for um, uh, doing smart contracts or uh, connecting those IoT devices where you have pay per use. Their leasing and factoring is fully being specified. And this is a, again a digital blockchain based uh, 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 automization that is uh, um, uh, actually becoming a reality and fully automated devices. They are taking decisions with the help of artificial intelligence. And what they are actually doing, uh, they are providing a, a, a kind of a profit center. And that profit center is governed by all these three technologies. And uh, uh, talking about the uh, blockchain euro, um, uh, this is again a digital blockchain based currency and it is used for the micro payments for IoT devices. But uh, for Indian perspective, it will take time. So uh, the startups in 2019 that were uh, the cash on ledger and monerium, they have developed this type of currencies. Uh, people have little less trust on that because it is not owned by a central bank because yesterday we talked about that central bank digital currencies will, are more trustworthy but um, obviously when we are talking about the e-money and the fiat currencies so those fiat currencies are tokenized with the help of this blockchain euro which has a lot of regulations being specified because uh, uncertainty will uh, result again in lot of attacks and lot of uh, huge amount of money being uh, uh, destroyed in that particular blockchain scenario then uh, this is much more reliable because now the government is thinking of utilizing the central bank digital currencies because um, uh, when you are talking about the central bank digital currency it is more trustworthy because uh, 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 because they, the central bank is owned by a particular central organization so any type of losses will be bared by them and uh, and people will have more trust on those banks which are utilizing those central bank digital currencies so still a prototype model is being developed so that uh, that particular currency can come in Indian markets uh, maybe sooner or later. Uh, but uh, this is the, just the work that is uh, more progressively done in other countries rather than India. And uh, uh, what's the most important thing coming from those central bank digital currencies that uh, in terms of any type of financial turmoil, when the banks and the e-money institutions are uh, uh, bankrupt or they face some uh, potential uh, losses, then uh, they are more of uh, uh, people who are connected to central banks who are more trustworthy. So that's why uh, people are uh, rather than going with any type of private organization who are leveraging that euro, people more are connected those central bank digital currencies and uh, uh, the trust factor is coming more with when the government is connected with these type of policies. 
and uh, this is very important that uh, tokenization tokenization and monetization of the iot devices is being done and uh, the most important thing is uh, when those iot devices will come in the blockchain scenario then the authentication will be more uh, they will be uh, provided a token and um, and the new business model for for the monetization of iot devices is built with the help of that blockchain technologies for example we are thinking about a lamp a street lamp a street lamp will have its own identity and that identity will be given by the blockchain uh, and then how much you are depending upon the smart contracts and depending upon the direct payments how much you are using that particular lamp which is um, uh, which is can be a street lamp you uh, uh, the payments can be directly done and um, uh, the uh, uh, pay per use uh, how much you use and uh, you are then paying to that digital device and that digital device that digital identity device is a lamp so that's that's much more feasible uh, than as compared to uh, pay per use technologies as compared to those technologies where uh, you are actually utilizing blockchain for full business purposes so here you are giving a digital identity for an iot device so depending upon the utilization of that device you are providing it uh, uh, the uh, uh, amount that is being uh, uh, specified as pay per use similarly uh, the important thing here is coming that tokenization is not only beneficial in the case of lamps but any kind of iot devices for example we were we are talking about the autonomous cars we are talking about the sensors those machines those cameras um, and the most important requirement is there that the tokenization is a connection to the internet and to a blockchain network so here, here you are uh, providing that device a token so that token uh, creates a digital identity of that device and uh, the amount uh, you will be uh, uh, paying for that device is the uh, 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 the usage the usage you do with that device the amount you pay for that device so that digital identity is being leveraged and the transactions are made faster then it's very important to understand that india india uh, has already started lot of work in the india in financial tech system as i yesterday discussed about the kycs which is being done in the axis bank those hdfcs state bank of india all have done and also in their life insurances um, that uh, the digital identity play a very very important role i'll i'll, I'll tell you about my current situation we have a, we had a death in the family and um, um, uh, nowadays what happens that uh, for claiming a particular policy uh, you don't have to call a person and again and again you don't have have to call that bank and again and again there's everything is automized you go to that bank website there's a option of claim they'll ask you some most important documents then those documents can be the death certificate of the person uh, some issue that uh, some um, uh, legal documents that are produced uh, 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 by the uh, by, uh, by the um, uh, uh, death certificate or something like that because that death certificate also comes with a scan code okay, you uh, you can scan it and you can track whether that death certificate certificate is genuine or not and then after 2 3 days when they check that everything is on a normal specification then your amount directly get deposited in your uh, bank so you don't have to run uh, so that fintech corporations also are utilizing uh, both this uh, uh, blockchain technology those iot technologies and artificial intelligence in order to make their business grow at a very fast rate so india is not very far behind a lot of work in india has already started and the tcs is doing a lot of work there because uh, uh, for uh, even for your uh, uh, those uh, organizations where um, which are dealing with uh, um, uh, uh, for example property your property is digitized Uh, then talking about a uh, 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 distribution system transparent distribution systems of government subsidies then there was an issue of fraudulent degrees uh, there was an issue where number of fraud degrees were being produced so uh, uh, the, these degrees are also being now automated if you put your degree on a particular digital for platform for checking uh, it is now being checked by that particular scan code whether your degree is coming from a authenticated environment or not and uh, as as talked about real estate industry the real estate industry is also doing a lot of work 
and uh, uh, especially blockchain has again uh, digitized those land titles and so any type of issues that were coming from those um, uh, 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 those issues of um, um, uh, eliminating the dependency on the middleman or even those contracts that were uh, very difficult to and you have to again and again visit those institutions then you have to waste your time is much more uh, done easily in terms of your uh, blockchain environment in the real estate business and let's see this beautiful video again which will help you to discover the importance of ai and uh, in iot in the last decade artificial intelligence has gone from a science fiction dream to a critical part of our everyday lives we use ai systems to interact with our phones through siri and alexa Cars like Tesla's interpret and analyze their surroundings to intelligently drive themselves. Amazon monitors our browsing habits and intelligently serves us up products it thinks we'd like to buy. Even Google decides what kind of search results to give us based on who it thinks we are. Artificially intelligent algorithms are here, but this is only the beginning because in the future, AI is going to change everything. But do we want it to? Well, what exactly is artificial intelligence? Maybe a better question might be, what exactly is intelligence? The simplest descriptor is collecting data about the world and using that data to make predictions in the short and long term. That applies to both people and machines. So when we talk about AI in our lives, we're talking about everything from a computer being able to read a handwritten document like an OCR reader to a robot performing complex surgery on its own. even to a massive database categorizing your personality based on what you've written and looked at online because the world of ai is so incredibly large let's take a look at some of the most groundbreaking developments we expect to see in the very near future and whether that's a step forward or backward for society first and foremost ai systems are already primed to take over thousands if not millions of jobs any job that consists of a human taking down information from other humans and inputting it into a system is likely to go obsolete so cashiers receptionists telemarketers and bank tellers are all on their way out as self driving cars self operating drones and other conveyors from a to b get more complex we we'll also lose jobs like truck drivers postal workers courier services even pizza delivery factories are also becoming fully automated so our car washes and movie theaters even my job as a journalist is threatened by rapidly improving news algorithms that can gather information and deliver it faster and more accurately but as society changes to accommodate an all machine service world it'll also open up new jobs for the next generation writing software repairing and maintaining robots and developing new and better systems most notably machines are also primed to take over dangerous jobs firefighting mining deep sea oil drilling construction and other careers with high mortality rates will be replaced by machines that can't get sick or hurt we don't know what an all ai workforce will look like yet but many economists believe that the world might be a brighter and more rewarding place with machines taking over the more dull and hazardous jobs as we develop better ai we're discovering that it cannot just replace human labor but also think in ways that humans can algorithms that can monitor and process massive amounts of information and make conclusions based on patterns in that data are poised to change every avenue of society starting from something small like optimizing traffic patterns over time to figure out the best routes to take or how to fix roads and rebuild highways all the way to something much more serious like monitoring epidemics and disease and stopping them before they spread Machine learning has even shown to analyze human behavior and predict warning signs by recognizing common language used by people like sexual predators or terrorists and alerting law enforcement to take action. Then again, that same technology can be used to track down political dissidents or serve fake news to vulnerable people while blocking out competing opinions and information. Just a few tech monopolies control the latest breakthroughs in data collecting, processing, and analyzing. And while we may hope that AI will help advance our society. It may just end up working to benefit the tech industry and only those who can afford to take advantage of cheaper, smarter human replacements. Maybe to the detriment of society. But for now, we just don't know what the future of AI holds. 
again a very very important and beautiful video which showed that how ai is actually um, uh, uh, leveraging the whole of industries um, and uh, 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 just a sec and uh, talking about uh, um, uh, various type of industries uh, who are utilizing uh, ai in terms of their uh, Uh, just a sec. Is my screen visible? Not yet, ma'am. Ah, अभी तक सर. Not yet now, ma'am. Yes, okay. now it is. Yes, yes, now it is visible, ma'am. Okay. just a second is it now visible ma'am yes now ma uh, yes ma'am visible ma'am so it's important to understand what this video was telling there was an issue that maybe ai will replace the or blockchain will replace the human uh, uh, people and there will be a lot of loss of jobs but what what actually the blockchain or these technologies are doing uh, they are not putting out a taxi driver out of the job what they are uh, doing uh, for example this this is what uh, the words of vitalik bitrin he is a co-founder of ethereum and he is saying that he, they are putting uber out of the job and let the taxi drivers work with customer directly so this is one of the words of the co-founder of ethereum he is saying and uh, as as specified by other person william moiger he said that blockchain cannot be described just as a revolution it's like a tsunami slowing advancing and gradually enveloping everything because in many of the industries now blockchain will be playing a very very important role but as i told you there is no technology which has some lapses which has some issues similarly there were around five blockchain security issues in especially in 2019 uh, which were highly talked about and uh, the first one is called as a 51% attack this was very very famous and um, this was more towards the concept because um, uh, with the concept of uh, bitcoin so those transactions were reversed and they were causing double spending money gains uh, Uh, to the majority of the uh, blockchain hash and uh, all the people with the malicious entries so some of the famous cryptocurrencies like the zen cash and ethereum classes they even faced that 51% attack and they, around there was a loss of 20 million um, in 2018 with this 51% attack and um, uh, the important uh, specification that was being specified for the people who were in those uh, 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 currencies uh, block uh, the euro currencies or even those uh, bitcoins is that you need to be vigilant in the mining pools and you using the higher hash rate and avoiding those uh, uh, proof of work consensus mechanism and uh, you need to be more vigilant in terms of your uh, uh, money when it is being transferred in, across the pools so so again uh, there was an issue uh, and this is talked about in this particular video a civil attack is a kind of security threat on an online system where one person tries to take over the network by creating multiple accounts nodes or computers this can be as simple as one per person creating multiple social media accounts but in the world of cryptocurrency a more relevant example is where somebody runs multiple nodes on a blockchain network the word civil in the name comes from a case study about a woman named Sybil Dorset who was treated for dissociative identity disorder also called multiple personality disorder what problems can civil attacks cause attackers may be able to outvote the honest nodes on the network if they create enough fake identities or civil identities they can then refuse to receive or transmit blocks effectively blocking other users from the network In really large scale civil attacks where the attackers manage to control the majority of the network computing power or hash rate they can carry out the 51% attack in such cases they may change the ordering of transactions and prevent transactions from being confirmed they may even reverse transactions that they made while in control which can lead to double spending
Over the years, computer scientists have dedicated a lot of time and research to figure out how to detect and prevent civil attacks with varying degrees of effectiveness. For now, there's no guaranteed defense. So, how do blockchains mitigate civil attacks? Many blockchains use different consensus algorithms to help defend against civil attacks, such as proof of work, proof of stake, and delegated proof of stake. These consensus algorithms don't actually prevent civil attacks. They just make it very impractical for an attacker to successfully carry out a civil attack. For example, Bitcoin's blockchain applies a specific set of rules to the generation of new blocks. One of the rules is that the ability to create a block must be proportional to the total processing power of the proof of work mechanism. That means that you have to actually own the computer power required to create a new block, which makes it very difficult and costly for an attacker to do. Since mining Bitcoin is so intensive, miners have a very strong incentive to keep mining honestly instead of attempting a civil attack. Besides civil attacks, there are a few other common types of attacks. Stay tuned to Binance Academy for more. So again, uh, this video was again a very beautiful video which show how uh, uh, there, there should be a consensus mechanism, there should be rules that need to be specified in the starting only uh, during uh, entering the particular uh, blockchain that uh, 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 avoid for the particular type of 51% attacks and civil attacks that are mostly happening in uh, lost of uh, uh, people who are involved in those currency transactions. Then there was exchange hacks. There was exchange hacks. There was a loss of 900 million last year uh, in talking about 2018 and 19. And um, uh, uh, what it was again, uh, uh, exchange hacks was in terms of cryptocurrency exchanges. And um, uh, the important scenario was there that um, uh, 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 in order to prevent in those exchange hacks, it's, it's easier to store the funds by proper wallet so that uh, uh, so that um, uh, the touch points are minimal and there was no uh, malicious online activities of the hackers are being tracked. Then social engineering is again an issue where a uh, lot of private keys and login information are being uh, uh, achieved and phishing happens a lot. So again, there was a loss of th 3 million due to those blockchain issues of social engineering. So best way is to uh, 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 never send your login credentials or private keys uh, and never fall in that particular trap. Then software flaws, again, as I told you, that blockchain technology is still new. So like a lot of reviews on the code need to be done. A lot of testing needs to be done. A lot of auditing of the smart contracts need to be done so that the flaws in the software can be found out because auditing plays a very, very important role. So that's why um, it's important that those software issues are being solved so that there's no loss in terms of that particular product which comes into the market. Then malware, obviously malware, uh, again, there was a crypto jacking issues. And uh, the important thing is that, um, uh, again, in order to solve those issues you need to be very much vigilant when you are in type of these particular networks and um, you have to avoid uh, uh, that there's some if the mysterious programs are running uh, somebody has not injected malware in your website or in your system so these things need to be tracked out uh, and it's important to understand that um, um, uh, the security risks of the problem of the uh, uh, is con considered as one of the shortcomings. So uh, it need to be understandable that these particular issues are happening. So we need to be vigilant. We need to be uh, have more type of consensus, more type of regulations, more type of proof of works, more type of auditing being done in order to use blockchain in its all full benefits. So this is a uh, again a video which will help you to see what are the security issues happening. How do you protect data that's distributed? Traditional databases store data in one place where security systems can control access. Blockchain copies the same data to many places, creating what we call a distributed ledger. All of these places communicate with each other to validate the data. That ensures data accuracy. To ensure the data privacy that regulations and users require, blockchain solutions need to take non-traditional approaches. 
Here are three security challenges that are unique to blockchain and how you can approach each one. Ownership. By its nature, blockchain data is equally owned at each place where it's distributed. But for personal data, regulations require one owner who is accountable for all data privacy. So instead of storing personal data in a blockchain, consider storing index numbers that tie to personal data in a separate database. Then one organization can own and secure that database while still sharing the blockchain. Another reason to store personal data in a separate database is the need for data deletion. Deletions. Blockchain records are permanent. If data changes, there's still a record of what it used to be. But many users want to be able to entirely delete their personal data from a system, and privacy regulations require that capability. Deletions are another reason to store personal data in a separate database. While there are statutory exceptions that let you store personal data in a blockchain, you would need to have encryption, user agreements, and other statutory requirements in place. Smart contracts. A blockchain can include little bits of code that automatically act upon the terms of a contract, such as transferring funds when an event occurs. These are called smart contracts. Privacy regulations require smart contracts to provide a way to report and correct any errors. Since blockchain transactions are permanent, you might even need to nullify and replace a smart contract. Make sure you have the appropriate rights to take that action. Blockchain solutions can include reasonable, appropriate, and compliant protections for privacy. But you need to ensure those protections are built into your solution and your contracts. Be sure to know the regulations and the roles that technology needs to play. For more details, see our white paper. Can uh, so, uh, it's again, a very, very important terminology which specifies that uh, how to secure blockchain for ownership, for deletion and for smart contracts. So rules and regulation, as I told you, proper auditing, testing plays a very, very important role. And uh, uh, there are some legal issues for blockchain startups because people who are going for utilization of blockchain should understand that they should understand, number one, the federal and the state regulations. The intellectual property strategy need to be specified. Privacy is one of the most important issue. Cyber security evaluation, auditing is again a very, very important issue. Uh, and uh, insurance against common claims is very important because you can uh, lose a huge amount of uh, money if, uh, if, there is a, if there is a kind of attack that is happening. So these things need to be specified before actually going for a, a blockchain startup. And and that risk will happen and keep on happening. So you need to understand that how to use them and how to overcome these vulnerabilities. Number one are your endpoint vulnerabilities. Uh, and these vulnerabilities uh, will be happening because you have a lot of privacy devices also being collected. So it's important to... Uh, uh, Hello. Yes. So it's important to understand that these endpoint vulnerabilities um, uh, uh, are going to happen. And um, uh, so these uh, uh, the financial institutions, those service providers uh, should be specified that um, uh, these endpoints are secured in a more trustworthy manner and uh, blocking that public and private key specification. And um, because uh, this is a biggest attack which normally happen in the system that uh, you have gained access to the public and the private key. So it's important to uh, again uh, specify that um, uh, these keys or these uh, particular security issues are handled in terms of uh, uh, more uh, uh, con conscious manner and uh, uh, you are not uh, uh, leveraging anybody to uh, get or gain your keys or even your endpoint issues. So the best important things uh, that steps can be followed, obviously using a good antivirus windows and Android devices then regu regularly checking for those malwares and uh, never store your blockchain keys in a text or a document file that can be easily checked by an unauthorized person. And uh, you must steer your, uh, store your keys on your device. Uh, 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 reputable encryption application. Obviously, uh, never use 
your keys in the body of an email of any person and uh, it's important that um, uh, these things can be specified because uh, uh, blockchain is actually providing um, a lot of security specifications so a little bit mishandling by human can cause a whole technology to disrupt Uh, obviously, there are vendor risk also. There are risk uh, in terms of utilization of those wallets and in terms of smart contracts. As I told you uh, in the previous slides, that proper auditing and testing need to be done because all those weaknesses can be paved way in the starting only uh, before actually bringing the product into the market. Then, obviously, this is very very important. Untested code. because uh, even the financial stability oversight council fsoc has specified that um, uh, the say there are some codes of the blockchain which are not tested and these untested code will cause a lot of failures to happen and uh, uh, they can cause lot of uh, 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 attacks also to happen so it's important uh, that um, uh, 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 these 51% attack or other type of attacks or other type of civil attacks are also happening in these particular where uh, your uh, testing of the code is not done properly and the product is coming in the market without uh, a lot of testing being done so it's important to understand that um, uh, 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 that these particular utilization of one type of dlt technology um, uh, you are uh, firstly uh, bringing that into a particular environment where full testing is being done lot of issues are being resolved and then actually taking the product for the use in the market yes obviously the standards and regulations are play a very very important role because as we talked about yesterday only when we are go, being a part of a consortium blockchain or when we are building a consensus mechanism then if the standards and regulations are not fall, followed they will again relate into number of attacks and even those bitcoins and cryptocurrencies they need to specially uh, thoroughly uh, uh, go with the utilization of government regulations or financial regulations by the institutions otherwise users who are involved in it can uh, pave issues and they can uh, uh, relate to huge money losses so those standard protocols and even uh, those standard uh, blockchain designers need to specify a consortium as i told you and uh, uh, it's important that um, uh, 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 that a full regulatory authority or a full consortium need to be set up in order to come to a consensus of starting using the blockchain environment and it's important uh, again to understand that um, uh, no regulation or standardization for blockchain built in house and only used internally within the organizations so it's important that um, uh, 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 there should be some regulations which are fixed which needs to be used because there those will be the regulations that will be coming by the government on financing organization then uh, again and when the consortium is being set up and the consensus is being set up uh, those smart contracts should be developed in a very very effective manner their uh, testing should be done and then it should come into uh, utilization and proper auditing also is required at each and every end this untested code we have already talked about that um, um, uh, the, the 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 famous dao that is a decentralized autonomous uh, attack which is again a kind of a uh, uh, civil kind of an attack and uh, where you had lot of crowd source uh, funding and that was involved in the blockchain and uh, uh, the important thing uh, uh, what, what what dio was there uh, dio again was a um, uh, it was founded in 2016 by ethereum team and they made about 150 million with the crowd funding and uh, then um, uh, uh, again it made history because it was first to be attacked and there was a recursive bug that was erroneously found in the dao and then uh, the hacker uh, resulted from uh, the attacker exploited the vulnerabilities that were happening in the dao and there was huge loss of money to the people who actually uh, uh, were involved in that dao and what was there there was about uh, uh, 55 million worth of ether and uh, the hacker ended the attack for reasons and no reasons known and uh, then uh, uh, there there was lot of issues and a um, uh, lot of uh, 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 panic created with these particular specification and this came thoroughly because the code was not properly and thoroughly tested 
and the best type of solutions coming from these particular issues are getting a peer review of the code very strict peer review of the code before deployment and those smart contract testing these two issues are very very important that if the code is not thoroughly reviewed and uh, and if the uh, uh, for smart contracts are not thoroughly tested again this type of hacker these type of attacks will continue on a very secure platform that is a blockchain and for indian perspective as i told you and this is also was told by sanjay dhotre the minister of state and electronics and it he told that um, blockchain is one of the most important research areas because talking about banking finance cyber security uh, blockchain is paving its way and uh, obviously for indian perspective this Bit bitcoin saga is still um, 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 still not uh, coming into the picture because rbi has put a ban on it there was a bill to be specified uh, but i think still uh, that particular environment it's kind of a saga going on for indian perspective it's still not on then uh, obviously phone spamming this is uh, uh, taken by the uh, telecom regulation authority of india they are utilizing blockchain for um, a complete elimination of those phone spamming issues a lot of organization are actually using this blockchain technologies for uh, in their telecommunication companies and uh, the important thing is that um, uh, with the help of this blockchain development which is coupled with ai lot of telecommunication flaws and uh, lot of spamming issues are being able to track down and the perpetrators are being located then kerala is now termed as a blockchain hub of india there was a kerala startup mission and um, uh, there was a 18 startups there out of those 18 startups the some uh, name like travel spark embride globtech they actually made their um, uh, 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 name in the international market also and um, uh, the important thing is that with the linkedin report kerala is actually uh, becoming a hub of uh, uh, blockchain in india and a lot of organizations like the tcs is establishing uh, a, a, a particular blockchain hub uh, in tiruvanthapuram and big companies like honest and young and other organizations are also expanding their uh, blockchain market in uh, by by, by uh, collaboration in kerala and lot of job opportunities also will be created to people who expertise in this blockchain environment obviously when talking about tech organizations like mahindra and contours they are also uh, utilizing blockchain with a uh, with a bas that is blockchain as a service this i discussed with you yesterday also this is very important because this will again uh, uh, again will be important because for payment issues the amount of service you use the amount of uh, uh, blockchain you use you will be paying for that but uh, it is important that lot of legacy and lot of uh, re uh, regulations is being spec specified for these particular utilization and uh, since we will going with the peer to peer environment in these type of technologies so a lot of regulations and lot of um, uh, 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 issues related to those smart contracts need to be resolved before coming into the market and uh, talking about binance which is again a mumbai based crypto exchange platform and um, uh, they are using wazir x for a sum of 10 to 15 million uh, and uh, what's important thing is that um, uh, since it is a kind of a crypto currency so rbi has imposed a ban of crypto currencies so binance involvement in indian crypto share um, uh, is being specified by that particular uh, uh, utilization so it's important to understand that lot of organizations have started doing work although that work is uh, still in its growing phase but the work has not only started in one organization but lot of organization are actually using blockchain uh, in terms of their bus like like blockchain as a service to get the full benefits then they can utilize it in an wholesome manner so talking about uh, uh, again again uh, these type of organizations are connecting with either with china us singapore and other type of countries to actually get the most of those uh, uh, blockchain uh, uh, features
and uh, uh, for voting system that is for electing of president three students of malla reddy engineering college again they have developed a particular software uh, uh, with the help of blockchain technologies which will help in reducing the obstacles of voting like uh, your uh, standing in the queues or other type of issues so this is again in the growing phase uh, maybe in some times it will be utilized by our own uh, government when we will be uh, casting our votes so this is also in one of the growing phase and it will be again very very helpful for uh, uh, maintaining and reducing the issues that come during the voting whenever it happens in any type of uh, countries similarly the t board of india for supply chain management they are using uh, this blockchain technologies and um, uh, as i told you that uh, getting the best quality getting the best quality product and that best quality product is transferred to the user in the best possible manner is again done, done by a lot of organizations so t board of india is also a utilization or uh, uh, of the blockchain technology to uh, mark the growth of the quality product and it's important to understand that blockchain and agriculture food and other project uh, is is about uh, uh, expected to outpour 30 million by 2023 and uh, it's important that traceability tracking secure payments data retention accessibility are all all the important uh, 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 facilities that blockchain is providing so we should go with these facilities but in a very very vigilant in a very Very, very regulatory based manner. So let's check this, which is again telling you one of the most important specification of why IoT and blockchain are utilized so much. The internet is changing. The industry is changing. Your home is changing. The internet of things is booming, but the things are far from perfect. Something must change, and blockchain can help. It's the technology behind bitcoins, safely protecting over twenty billion dollars floating on the internet. Again, to do more, meet Maru, the next generation of IoT. Maru uses blockchain technology to achieve universal device identity from birth, IoT security, and true interoperability. It's like a safe and trustworthy airplane black box for all sorts of projects, like ensuring the temperature of a frozen cargo shipment, logging solar power generation data, or even tracking emissions. The future of IoT is uncertain. Blockchain can help. Join Chain of Things and Maru to explore the potential of a blockchain-enhanced future for the Internet of Things. So this is the last video I'm sharing. Just check this also. Twenty billion smart connected IoT devices around the world by 2020. How do they all connect? How do they find each other? How do I find them and the information that I need? Currently, the Internet of Things is disconnected. Thousands of apps and legacy systems lacking an integration, unable to communicate and share their knowledge. We are here to change that. At Fetch AI, we are working to create ecostructures in which billions of devices can communicate seamlessly, autonomously, and securely. The system is made up of three levels. The base protocol is the intelligent blockchain. This is how we ensure system integrity and scalability. The second layer is the open economic framework. This is a decentralized search system that allows IoT devices to interact with each other and negotiate contract terms. The third layer are specialized programs called autonomous economic agents. They represent IoT devices. Fetch AI provides them with the ability to search, negotiate, and trade knowledge, predictions, and value using digital currency. The agents gather and process information from different sources, creating knowledge which delivers valuable insights that make a meaningful impact to our lives. Today, to organize a simple trip, you need a multitude of apps to book services like taxis, flights, and hotels. The agents will do this autonomously for you, based on your preferences, taking the stress out of travel and returning your time to you. These AI and machine learning powered eco structures reduce complexity and enable knowledge sharing, delivering a world of personalized experiences. Imagine 
build fetch. So uh, again, talking about uh, uh, blockchain. So blockchain, uh, it, it is a kind of a symbolization of a shift uh, from the power of the centers to the edges of the networks. So this is again a very very important quote that specifies how the blockchain technology uh, has shifted everything from the center power to the uh, actual uh, specification where your uh, utilizations will be done from the edges of the networks and these edges of the network will be controlled only if the regulations only if the uh, specification of utilization of blockchain in this particular environment is done very consciously so uh, this is all i wanted to say in this particular ppt so I'm um, now uh, open with particular discussions if anybody wants to have. Uh, Raki, ma'am, are you there? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So if any discussions, any questions, any queries, uh, if any of the audiences and participants have, you can discuss yes. with Yes. So I request all the participants, if you are having any query, you can unmute the mic and you can ask the question, please. Uh, Ma'am, you uh, mentioned this 51% attack in previous slide. Yes. Sir. Uh, so uh, uh, I know uh, there is a consensus mechanism wherein 51% is required for uh, for any block to be get uh, uh, attached in a blockchain particularly right so how this 51 percent attack uh, uh, is being used to uh, I mean, uh, uh, fail the entire this mechanism uh, actually sir uh, this is the name as a 51 percent attack why uh, because uh, it is a kind of a civil attack as i i think you all, you must have seen in that video also uh, it is a kind of a civil attack and why it is named as 51 percent because uh, uh, the number of transactions were just uh, uh, like uh, talking about uh, uh, the main attack which happened in 2018 and 19 uh, the money that was involved in that particular whole process it was being leveraged and there was a losses uh, so that's why the name has 51 percent now what they have told and what the solution they have specified is that uh, because there was a attacker who was gaining control and uh, it, it comes uh, civil as, as as I told you and it was shown also that comes from the person who is as a similar person who have this uh, 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 the name of the uh, lady and who is coming with a different uh, uh, like like uh, uh, it was being specified also that Sybil is the name of the lady who different different uh, who, who had some issues with a um, uh, mind and the different copies were be created. So what does happen in a 51 percent attack? We are not going with consensus. So consensus is a very important part. Consensus is a very important specification that need to be maintained and that is a, a more of that consensus is required when you are utilizing blockchain, not only in a Bitcoin, but in any kind of consortium uh, environment or any type of other environment. But what happened in a 51% attack was that that overcoming and that money uh, 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 money of the, the, those transactions that were carried by the blocks, that was uh, uh, there was a loss of the money and the hacker was over, able to track that. That's why the name 51%. So what the regulation they gave that is the, when you are starting using or coming in that particular block, you need to have the information of the total processing power of the system. Them. There could be not a person who can create multiple identities of himself or can log in from the multiple devices and then gain control of that particular box. That was mostly happening during the mining and that was mostly happening during that uh, uh, Bitcoin saga. So that's, that's again a different issue, but coming on the consensus, consensus is obviously required, but those consensus and those regulations need to be audited and those malwares and those issues uh, when you are in other blockchain need to be regulated. Otherwise, these attacks may happen again. 
okay perfect ma'am so uh, now the second question is if the uh, this 51% attack happened uh, suppose i am i am one of the uh, uh, person who has a bad intention and i created multiple identities in a particular blockchain and gain the uh, uh, this 51% uh and uh, and change something and you know uh, try to uh, uh, steal the money uh, from the entire ecosystem so yes. how we can how we can uh, uh, i mean protect the entire mechanism because the nodes those who are approving uh, 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 this transaction and adding the block right they don't know each other so how how this entire mechanism can be uh, full proof or can be safe from such attack in future uh sir uh, uh, this is mainly being regulated by uh, total processing power uh, so what is happening during the that bitcoin specification is that specified that no single miner uh, or no group of miners are allowed to more than 50% of the bitcoin total network computing power if you are not providing that total network computing power to any of the miner then obviously they'll no, they, they the uh, the attack will not happen because that controlling power will never go to them so this is the best regulation uh, being specified for the 51 perting attack because the total processing power is being specified and no miner is allowed to gain the control uh, more than 50% that, that's the regulation that is being taken after this particular attack okay right pa right thank you so much thank you sir anybody else any other discussion uh, or rakhi ma'am shall we end this yes, uh, it's done yes sir uh, i like to thank you ma'am uh, this is really nice session we learned a lot from this session and uh, uh, we learned that uh, how blockchain can be utilized with other uh, technology also like iot ai and ml so it's really great of the combo of uh, the knowledge of all these technology together and uh, uh, i hope the participant get the knowledge and uh, this session is very useful for us uh, so i like to thank uh, uh, dr shin jaffer uh, ma'am and uh, all the participant who attending this session uh, thank you ma'am and uh, i request participant that uh, the next one session will be on uh, 11 o'clock and uh, uh, there will be another link the link is shared on your email as well as in the whatsapp group also so you can join 11 o'clock uh, 11:10 uh, that is the uh, 11:10 the next session is uh, 11:10 so thank, thank you all you. have a nice day thank you thank you ma'am you can share the ppts to the participants if they want uh, i have yes, shared both the ppts with you thank you all thank you participants thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you shri ma'am very nice session thank you bharti ma'am hope uh, you can uh, gain some knowledge with that because we are learners every time and um, uh, i would like to tell with all the participants that whenever i have a session i normally go and uh, make new ppts new introduction because each and every day something new is happening so we should learn from every uh, single point and develop something new for the society thank you all yes ma'am ma'am shirin ma'am uh, can you please yes, share the videos also with us Yes, can you please share the videos with us? Uh, ma'am, PPT videos yes. with us. Yes, ma'am. That PPT is consist of all the video, and I will share the video also. I hope. Thank you, you so the, much, ma'am. It was yes. so informative, then, uh, very informative. Thank you, Bharti, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, all participants. Ma'am, Prerna, I'm Prerna. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, thank, thank you, Prerna, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Rakhi, ma'am. Thank you, 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 ma'am. Thank you